find the arc length function s of t and the arc length parameterization for the curve given by the vectored valued function r of t for t greater than or equal to zero. Let's begin by reviewing the formula for arc length and the formula for the arc length function s of t. Recall for arc length, we have the arc length s equals the integral from a to b of the magnitude of r prime of t dt, and the result is a numerical value. However, for the arc length function, we have the arc length function s of t equals the integral from a to t, not the integral from a to b, of the magnitude of r prime of u, not the magnitude of r prime of t, and then du. Because the upper limit of integration is t, we know the final result will be a function of t, but because of this t, we cannot have a function of t as the integrand function, and therefore we perform a change of variables to the vectored valued function r of t. Notice here the change of variables was to let t equal u. So to get started in our problem, we'll first write r of t as r of u, indicating the x component is x of u equals negative five u minus two, the y component is y of u equals negative u plus one, and the z component is z of u equals three u plus five. For the next step, let's determine the derivatives, x prime of u equals negative five, y prime of u equals negative one, and z prime of u equals three. And now we can set up the integral for the arc length function s of t. We have s of t equals the integral from zero to t. The lower limit is zero because we're given t greater than or equal to zero. So again, we have s of t equals the integral from zero to t of the magnitude of r prime of u, which is the square root of the sum of the square of negative five, the square of negative one, and the square of three du. Simplifying the square root, we have the square root of 35. Integrating the antiderivative is square root 35u. Now we determine big F of t minus big F of zero, which gives us square root 35t minus square root 35 times zero, which equals square root 35t. We now have the arc length function s of t, s of t equals square root 35t. Next, to determine the arc length parameterization for the curve, given by the vectored valued function r of t, we want to write r of t as a function of s, where s is the arc length. So using our arc length function, we know s equals square root 35 t. Solving for t, we divide both sides by square root 35, giving us t equals s divided by square root 35. Before we perform this substitution, notice we were given r of t for t greater than or equal to zero. We'll notice if t is greater than or equal to zero, then s must also be greater than or equal to zero. And now to determine the arc length parameterization for the curve, meaning to find r of s, we substitute s divided by square root 35 for t in each component. This gives us r of s equals the vector valued function, where the x component is negative five times s divided by square root 35 minus two. The y component is the opposite of s divided by square root 35 plus one and the z component is three times s divided by square root 35 plus five. Simplifying, let's write our vector valued function r of s, the arc length parameterization for the curve in this simplified form here. I hope you found this helpful.